We'll guide you through how to install and run apps from unidentified developers on your Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So this can be really annoying, but Apple has put it in place for your safety. But to go and basically install the app, which is giving you this pop-up or run it, go and open up your system settings. On the left here, you need to scroll down and go and click on privacy and security. And then what you need to do is scroll all the way down here to security. Now, as you can see here, you'll have allow applications downloaded from, and just below that, you'll see the app which is being blocked because it's from an unidentified developer. Now I'm getting this pop-up, which is actually slightly different. Mine here will be worded slightly different from yours as mine is a system extension, but if you're sure you want to go and run it and install it, then all you need to do is go and click on the button and it will then begin. So click allow and you'll then be prompted to go and enter your password and then you can go and run the application which was originally blocked. Now what we can do is if we come to allow applications downloaded from, we've got App Store and then App Store and Identified Developers. What we can do is get a third option, so therefore you won't have to come here and allow it and run it every time. Of course, it is maybe a bit more riskier because you can install anything to your Mac, but that's fine with me. So what you want to do is click on the search in the top and type in terminal, just like so. And then what you want to do is type in sudo space spctl space, then tap on the dash button or hyphen button twice, like so, and type in master, all one word, and then another hyphen or dash, disable just like so hit enter you need to go and enter your password hit enter and it should then go and run now when we go and restart our computer we'll have the extra option i've restarted my mac and as you can see we've now got the extra option for anywhere if you guys found this useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video